Hi everyone, I'm making a, an acrylic bloom flower. I'm adding my cell activator to my little puddles where my leaves are going to go. They're variegated with a light and dark color. And now I'm adding the second color. So there's two cell activators. It is um, Amsterdam's yellowish green and sap green mixed with a little Payne's gray to go along with it to kind of deepen it up a little. I like it, it looks like veins and leaves. And there's my world's smallest leaf blower blowing out the cell activator for the leaves. And try to catch it straight on. That's a good blow off. Again, trying to catch it straight. There we go. I'll probably blow a little extra in the areas where it's dark. I'm sorry, looking at the back of my head, I'm just giving a little puff in those darker areas, trying to bring up a little extra color. Puff one more time. Okie dokie. So if ever you're doing this and you're flower spot has gotten misshapen. You don't have to worry about that. Just go along like it never happened. So that is uh, Warm Sunset is the name of that yellow paint. And now I'm putting over some Tuscan Red and they're both by Deco Art Americana. It's mixed with my cell, uh, my uh, excuse me, my medium, which I make. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, check out my other YouTube videos, and you'll see that there are a few um, mixing recipes and uh, videos teaching you how to do that. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Very informative videos. I think you'll like them. Okay, now I'm gonna do a double cell activator again. This is the yellowish green by Amsterdam. And my cell activator is Floetrol and paint. And I mix it two to one. It is worth every penny. As you can see, look at all those cells without silicone or anything. My flower has a double cell activator, just like the leaves did. Catching that right down on that. Blowing it out. In good shape. Opening it up. puff there on that darker area let's see what the cell activator does so cell activator is a very stretchy consistency once you blow it out over your paints it kind of has to sh sh shrink back together sorry about the back of my head so I was just giving an extra little puff there in uh, the darker cell activator areas and uh, trying to bring up a little bit more color and uh, it will happen. So that cell activator will kind of quickly come together, or it doesn't necessarily quickly, it takes a moment. So it's always good to give it a rest for a minute once that's actually happened. So 
you can see it, it is it has come together quite a bit already. Uh, probably time to give it a spin. See if we can open it up some. Let that flower grow. big flower. Okay, so now we'll use my skewer and I use the fat end and I will bring it in. I don't like to go all the way to the center because I like that center to be like where the seeds are forming in the flower. Be afraid to drag right from the, the leaves and bring some green in. The leaves are connected, so. You lift straight up so you don't dribble. detail to each petal. And that's um, my stylus. It's an embossing tool, which is, <clears throat> I love how it works around the canvas and in the paint. Do one more spin. Great, lovely flower. And give some detail to the leaves. A little touch here and there. how the leaves go from light to dark that gives some real depth to the painting. Nice big fiery bloom. So I'm going to use my other skewer. It has a flat end on it. I dip it in my paint and just kind of dab little, I call them doodad flowers. And they need leaves too. Then I dip the other end of the skewer. I'm sorry, you can't see that. And I drag right through and I connect the flower. See how oh, that is so sweet. take my skewer and I dip into the other side and just give it a little extra detail. And look how lovely the cell activator works. It really is worth every penny. Such detail. Love the fiery flower. Look how that came out. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, keep watching to see what comes next. Thank you so much.